Guys, got another ransomware removal video here for you. This one's another new one doing the rounds in the UK. As you can see, looks like they've done a bit of an overall on the graphics. Um, graphics look a little bit more sharper. And also, they've got a camera in here. Um, if your camera was enabled, you'd see your face on there. And it's supposed to be saying that they're taking pictures of you and saving them. Um, basically, they're the same sort of thing, really. They're trying to frighten you into... Uh, paying for this type of thing a final imprisonment of up to four years and pornography and promoting terrorism and all this sort of stuff to try and frighten you into paying for it okay and the way they can do that is by getting you to purchase a ucash uh, voucher code and or, or pay safe card okay and then once you've got that card you'll get the voucher code and you enter it in here and then they would get your money basically you just click on this and they would just rip you off so don't fall for these types of things. What we're going to do here is hopefully be able to use the uh, system restore tool that's built into Windows. And we're going to be doing that by accessing Windows advanced options in safe mode and get into safe mode with command prompt and run it from there. It'll all come clear basically in the video. But there is uh, three things you're going to need. You're going to need to have system restore enabled on your operating system. Now by default that isn't, it is normally enabled but you may have disabled it. The second thing you're going to need is to have system restore points available to you. If you haven't got those, then it's not much good getting into system restore. And the third thing is you're going to need to be able to get into access to uh, safe mode with command prompt. Now, some of these ransomwares do run in safe mode with command prompt, which means pretty much you're scuppered there. Okay, so let's reboot the system into safe mobile command prompt and get on with the job of removing it. If you don't know how to get into safe mobile command prompt, then the uh, there is some actual instructions on the screen there, okay? Okay, so we was tapping F8 on our keyboard and uh, we've now got into advanced boot options. We're going to come down to safe mobile command prompt and see if we can uh, get into there, which I know we can with this type of ransomware. Now, if you have got other different types of ransomware on your system, you can try this method. Okay, so we're at safe mode with command prompt now. Now, some of these ransomwares will run in here, as I said. And if they do, then you're only going to normally have a like two to three seconds to actually do anything before you'll get the big display on the screen again. Or it will sometimes, like the FBI version, will stop you from being able to type. Okay, So you have only got a short time. Now if that is the case, then don't mess around with it. Just boot into a Kaspersky Live CD and remove it from there. And you can watch some other videos to see how to do that. Okay. So if you've got Windows XP, let's talk about Windows XP first because there's a slightly different uh, place you have to be in. You can't be into System32, you have to be in the Restore folder. And to do that you just need to type CD and Restore. And that will put you into the Restore folder and then you would have to do this command. RST, RUI.exe and then you'd run that and you would get system restore popping up okay but we're in Windows 7 so that's no good to us so I'm gonna just go back here okay so I'm gonna go back to my system restore and then type straight away RS T R U I dot exe and we're gonna run that from here and this will open up our system restore I'm gonna go next and you can see we've got some options open to us here which was uh, bef so what you want to do here is select the option that's opened here that was before you got infected okay so before you've got infected that's the one you want to click on so I can see that we've got one here so I'll just pick on this and then I'll go next and then next again finish and click yes here it's now going to do a system restore on the system So we'll just let the system boot up now and hopefully that will be the end of that ransomware.
Okay, so the system restore has now been completed. We click close here, and as you can see, we're back to the desktop. Wallpaper's changed, obviously, but that's no big deal. We're free from the ransomware, and we're back up and running. So that's how you can use the system restore method to remove ransomwares from your system. Now, as I said, this is not going to fix all ransomwares, okay? Um, but it will do a good majority of them if you have restore points and have system restore enabled on your system. So I hope this helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, please remember guys, hit that subscribe button. Also rate and favorite my videos if you enjoy them. And if you've got any requests for videos, then send me a message and I'll do my best to make those videos for you. If you need any help or anything like that, then uh, send me a message and I'll try to answer as many as I can, okay? So thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your support. Bye for now.